your luggage with you. In this video, we're going to share some healthy tips, tricks and hacks which is going to come together to create a strategy to keep yourselves healthy irrespective of where you're traveling. This video is special because we are in Paris and we believe there is no better place to record such videos. So let's dive in and spill some serious tip on how to stay healthy while traveling in the capital of Cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to apartment. We agree it's a lot of effort. You need to diligently plan it and then also execute it. So with no further ado, let's dive into the tips. Phase number one is research. Research and one more time research. First part of the research is food. Prepare a list of restaurants you like and first and foremost, places which satisfy your dietary requirements. Like for example, organic food, gluten-free, pancakes. Dairy-free. Also, find juice bars so that you can ensure that you get the daily dose of your fruits and vegetables. Or even go the extra mile and find organic juice bars. Today, that I feel like at home while having a golden latte or something like that because you guys know that I'm crazy about making everything with turmeric so um, it's very comforting when you're far abroad and you can find something you actually prepare at home. This place is cool so whenever you are in Paris go to Wild and the Moon. Uh, take screenshots of the places I like on Instagram and then tag it or pin it on my Google map. Then you're fully prepared, you have it in everything in your phone and Instagram gives you an opportunity to see how the food looks like um, on other people's pictures. And why all of it? You avoid eating in accidentally chosen places. And maybe you might even save your wallet because you might not be ripped off by touristy places. find a place which provides a gym or simply home workouts, it's not your thing, you can always go to the gym. A lot of gyms provide daily passes or even a free entrance if you ask. That's gonna be a bit yummy, no? And if you're traveling during summer, you can always go to the park for some stretching, jogging, or even find some outdoor gym. We did it in Athens, for example. Yeah, it was quite fun. Research for activities outdoors, maybe yoga activities, organized running, or even just getting together to play some basketball. A simple hack for this, if you are considering a gym, let them know that you might be considering moving into the area and they might be very inclined to give you a free pass. And number three, mind. To relieve mental stress, ensure that you research and buy tickets for crowded places. Set a reminder to check in and ensure that your luggage and baggage is all checked in and ready to go at the time of your departure. Download meditation modules or have a book at hand so that you could read during your travels. 
And in addition to that, to really unwind, make your dinner reservations. Ensure that you have a time set out to go for a walk and enjoy the city or even book out a spa session so that you could actually relax during your travels. And the last part of the research is hotel or simply a place you will stay. If you're traveling during winter, be sure that you have access to the gym or your hotel has pool and etc. or some spa area. If you're deciding to rent a flat or use um, Airbnb, make sure that you have enough space to do home workouts. well-being and sleep quality, be sure that your bed will be comfortable and you can close your curtains. And if you don't want to eat outside and save a little bit on your wallet, you can consider renting an apartment with a small kitchenette in it, which we prefer to do most of the times if you're traveling between cities. You then have the option of making a healthy breakfast which might not be miles away from what you would be doing at home. And our suggested options for these are simple scrambled eggs or just making some oat pancakes. A simple hack for this is you can prepare a oat mix at home. That is a simple set of oats, some dried fruits chopped up in a jar. You can travel with it and when you get to your apartment you can buy a couple of bananas or fresh fruits, chuck some eggs in and you'll have the best breakfast ever. Hack number two. Shopping before leaving. Buy a lot of healthy snacks so you avoid eating crappy food at the airport or central station or whatever. Our favorite are dates, dried fruits like mango or apricots, raw bites, which are like very yummy bars based on dates, I guess, and some vegetable crisps. Phase number three on the flight and how to avoid jet lag as much as possible. You and I both have experienced this, and so what are the simple things that you could do to avoid it? Avoid night flights. Avoid coffees and alcohol that would dehydrate you. Use a magnesium spray if you're traveling during night so that you could fall asleep easily. When possible, travel during normal times of the day. When you get to your destination, go about your activities as if you've never changed destination. Okay, this tip refers more to summer holiday, but once you land and you have access to walk on the ground, do so. With barefoot. Some of the latest research on earthing, that is, the act of touching bare skin on earth, rock, soil or dirt, has shown that you, you are able to rebalance your electrolytes and get over jet lag very quickly. And a little hack, take with yourself an eye mask or earbuds if you want to have an app on your flight. And if you are a nervous flyer, try meditation or rub lavender oil on your palms. Phase number four, packing. This is a crucial part for the plan to work. Don't forget to pack your gym clothes, gym shoes, your gym equipment like bands, straps, etc. And the snacks you have just bought. And moisturizer or organic toothpaste. If you're interested, pack a book, puzzle, or just your favorite TV show on your hard drive. And a hack for this one? Underpack. Trust me, you'll be fine. We need to do more of this too. I'm pretty sure when you got back home, you still see those folded clothes that you've never used during the travel. Phase number five, probably the hardest one. Execution. List out your activities or put just a brief agenda of your day. Think how you plan your sightseeing. Include a lot of walking, hiking, or even active resting. Try to schedule your routine activities like running, meditation or gym early in the morning so you don't have to worry about this later on. Remember about hydration. Make sure when you travel out of your flat you have a bottle along with you and at the same time when you come back home that you buy loads of water so that when you wake up the next morning that you're ready to get hydrated. Walk wherever you can and avoid cabs and public transport. And at the same time, get the daily dose of exercise as well. And last but not least, most importantly, just pace yourself. After all, you're on a holiday, so enjoy it. That's it for Paris, it's time to go home and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.